Hey folks, welcome to the channel and welcome to another episode here at Gideon's Tactical. As you can probably tell by this point, we are doing a review on a headlamp today. And I gotta tell you, right out of the gate, this headlamp is blowing my mind. I've had a chance to not only use this on a recent camping trip, but I've just been using it around the house, using it a lot, really trying to see you know, what are its capabilities. And I'm extremely impressed by what Foxelli is producing with this particular headlamp. This is a USB rechargeable headlamp that gives you crazy amount of lumens with really good battery life and quick recharge. So we're going to talk through that today, show you the ins and outs of this headlamp. Hopefully by the end of the video, you might have found yourself the right USB rechargeable headlamp for you. So let's get to it. Look at the actual, um, you know, business end, the light portion of the Fox LED headlamp, and uh, kind of talk you through it. Now it's very compact. I really like this a lot. It's not a very big, bulky, you know, system. Uh, you can get it in either black or white. So there's two different color options as well. This is the white version. Now uh, on the side here is the button, which is the actuator for the light. You can just click that, and you just rotate through that. We'll talk about here in just a second the different, you know, power. Portions. Now, this is the thing with this switch. The switch is not a bad switch at all in the sense that it's very strong and very reliable because it's basically indented into the body of the light. You can see there it's actually indented slightly. It's not, you know, protruding so it could get chewed up, you know, nicked, bumped by branches if you're walking through the forest, you know, whatever, and kind of maybe get damaged in any way. This is this button, I don't foresee any sort of damaging ever happening to it. The downside is because it's very strong, you really got to give it a good push to click through. And because of the detent and how small it is, it's very, you know, narrow. It's kind of hard to actuate, particularly with any kind of gloves on. If you're wearing gloves of any kind, you're basically going to have to take the glove off to click through and cycle through to pick whichever lumens you want or to turn it off or whatever you want to do. And even then, you really got to kind of fight with it and push hard. So it's strong and durable in that sense, but kind of hard to actuate. That would be my only complaint with this entire system is I would have liked to just see either just a bigger button so it would be easier to click with a, a glove on uh, or to have it even just slightly protruding just a hair so that we could easier engage it. Just something with the button. Um, again, very strong, but kind of cumbersome, particularly with gloves on. And even without gloves on, it's a little difficult, particularly with bigger hands to actuate. As we continue looking here at the, the light itself, you've got really strong little teeth, you know, to hold it into place and, you know, put it either down really far. You can click it all the way or, you know, straight ahead and anywhere in between. So there's lots of different features there. Then you have a diffuser, or you can slide that sucker up and then you're dead on and you know nice and bright. So very cool features there. A couple little screws, so if you needed to ever work on it or you know if this uh, adjustment system loosened up on you, you can just uh, tighten it right back up. So very cool little features there on this aspect of the light. All right, guys, now I'm going to show you all the different capabilities that this actual light has. And this is really where this flashlight or one of the many areas where this headlamp flashlight headlamp uh, really shines and really actually kind of blows me away because I've had a chance to really test this thoroughly, not only on a couple hiking trips and camping trips overnighters, but also just, you know, EDC and around the house, doing some work around the house at night, having to check on something, you know, and testing it in multiple different ways. So here we go. The first thing is this, that when you turn it on the first time, first click, whoa, you can just see how bright that is. That is the quote unquote average, which is hilarious to me because it's 95 lumens. And at that average, you're looking at 95 lumens 
and it is going to give you a distance throw of 30 to 40 meters and that is without the diffuser it'll be a little bit less with the diffuser that we have on right now and that will run for 14 hours at 90 lumens that is ridiculous for the price point that they're asking for the rechargeable usb capability i mean that's just average just wait until i keep going um, so that's the first thing. Then if you click it again, it's going to go to the, uh, you, you know, if you let it sit for a moment, it'll turn off. So then if you hit it once and then you hit it again, it goes even brighter. Now we're looking at a brightness of 200 lumens, 200 lumens. And that's the quote unquote maximum. That's going to give you a distance without the diffuser of 60 to 80 meters. And that's going to run for eight hours. Awesome awesome the amount of time that you're getting with that distance and that capability at 200 lumens which is awesome then uh, we're going to tap it again it's going to turn off here yep and it kind of does that little you got to give it a second kind of fades and turns off there then uh, as you triple tap it so you hit it once you hit it again and you hit it again it's going to sink down to the lowest setting which is 12 lumens now the 12 lumens will give you a 5 to 10 meter distance without the diffuser again uh, and that's going to give you 100 hours of power 100 hours of power which is again ridiculous then finally if we go through here and i turn it off and i cycle through one two three now we're down to the lowest and i hit it one more time this is the ultra and the ultra bright is only going to last for three minutes this only lasts for three minutes then it resets to the high setting but the ultra brightness will give you 100 to 120 meters of distance and it's 100 or excuse me 280 lumens now again this is only going to last for three minutes then it goes fades back down to the 200 but that is a, a capability if you need super far distance with super brightness 280 lumens uh, for three minutes it'll give you that and then finally i said finally before but guess what there's one more if you just hold it down for a second and a half you have sos flashing it'll flash sos and there's real no, no real time on it uh, it'll just do that you know for a long 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 time it doesn't give me a, a time frame but that is amazing that you then have sos capability too so guys with all these capabilities that i've just listed to you uh it is really impressive excuse me i gotta hold this down turn it off there we go um the the capabilities that this has and i've tested it guys i turned i turned it on to the highest lumens uh with the maximum and left it overnight for about nine hours and it was still on when i came you know back downstairs it faded a little bit but for nine hours i had left it on at the maximum 200 lumens and it says it has eight hours i would i would agree with that it had eight hours of you know capability in it so i would say that the times that i've re read to you are very realistic in its capability okay so let's just kind of to walk through this with it actually on my head so you can kind of see it in action here uh, this rides really comfortably you know and i have a beanie on i've worn it you know with just nothing with a baseball cap i mean multiple different ways and it's just very comfortable on my head nice and snug one of the things to note here this is the extra amount of band so there, that's a very large amount so this would absolutely fit over most helmets that i can think of you know so if you did want to wear this over like a construction helmet military helmet those type of things uh, law enforcement uh, there's still plenty of room for that there you know and i, I have about a seven and a half inch baseball cap sized head um, this is the amount of adjustability that you have and you know it's got those really nice clicks so it's going to stay really nice and secure it's not going to accident, accidentally fall but you can get that really close to your feet or really straight out you know far you've got that secondary strap that goes all the way up and down this is removable that strap if you didn't want to use that and then you got your cordage back to your rechargeable capability there so just a really good elastic band it's not stretching out you know or loosening up at all and just a really good setup and very comfortable to wear all right folks so i'm going to give you a real quick uh, value rating and uh, not so much a rating but you know just tell you the the price point basically of this fox ellie which is going to be really ridiculous the mx 500 headlamp is going to cost you when i'm filming this 29.99 
That is crazy for, I believe, the not only performance that you're going to be getting out of this headlamp, but also the quality. I've been very pleased to see that this is, you know, made out of dense materials, dense plastics, that the elastic and, you know, all the attachments are strong and durable. And for $30 is really a steal. Now, prices may vary. Uh, you know, I didn't see that it was a sale. It could be a sale, you know, going on right now. So, you know, prices may change as time goes on. But as of right now, end of 2015, these are $29.99 on the Fox Alley website. And so I will have a link in the description below for these uh, MX 500s as well as another smaller AAA powered headlamp that they offer as well which is I think like 20 bucks or 25 bucks so great price point great value I believe huge value for the amount of lumens for the amount of distance that it throws and US, micro USB rechargeable is fantastic on this Foxelli Headlamp. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look here at the back of the headlamp and look at the battery pack. Now, as you can see here, here's the attachment runs along the side and up to the head and up to the lamp. As we look at the battery pack itself, it's very compact and small. I really like that feature a lot. When you turn the headlamp on, you can see this little light turns on. There's a little battery, three-stage battery symbol back here with a green light. And so it shows you whether or not you're at full, medium, or low power and you need to recharge it. This is huge for me. This is really important and I really like that feature a lot. Very cool. So I don't have to guess how much charge I have left. I can turn it on, let it sit for a minute or two just to see how the charge is looking. And then, you know, I can decide if I'm getting ready for a camping trip or whatever. Do I need to plug this in tonight and recharge it before I go out? Or is it still good to go? And it'll do, again, green, green, and then red at 25% there. As well as on the bottom here is where the mini USB port is for charging. You can see the kind of green light in there. And that's on the bottom of the battery pack so that if it's raining, you know, the water, and it's all, you know, watertight around here, uh, it's going to, you know, just kind of run off and you're not going to really damage the, the item. It would only be in submersion. And if you were to submerge this, that, that you would possibly begin to begin to damage the battery pack but i really like all those features and i really like how that battery pack is set up particularly with the power indicator to let you know how much power is left in the and how much juice is left in the light okay a few other things i just want to run through here with you first off it's very lightweight at 4.4 ounces that's very lightweight for a rechargeable you know power source like that it's going to come with two uh, mini USB cables, so you don't even have to purchase the cables. A lot of these other flashlights that I've purchased don't come with the charging cable, and you know they expect you to either have it or buy one, so that's great um, for that price point that we uh, have talked about. And um, it's cold, cold resistant and impact resistant. I've dropped it a few times without any sort of damage, you know, from about two to three feet, you know, where you'd be carrying it, you know, or something like that, uh, without any type of damage, as well as cold weather. We, I was rocking this in uh, about 19 degree weather on our camping trip, and I didn't see any fluctuations in the power, you know, the power draining out of it, uh, you know, or getting brittle or anything like that. So that was a good feature as well. And then finally, it is IPX7 water resistant, submerged for 30 minutes in one meter of water and it will handle it supposedly is what they say those type of things um you know are up to you to, and whether or not you want to decide that but uh, i know that that is a closer or a, excuse me a higher level of water resistant testing ipx7 than some of the other flashlights that, and headlamps that i've seen out there which is really cool and then finally you can totally remove all of these little you know different uh, straps you can see that that's adjustable right there and you can feed that through you can remove it right here it's got the little teeth on the bands as well. So you can remove the band completely if it was ever to damage or you needed to remove it for some sort of work that you were doing on the, the headlamp. So very cool extra features here on this headlamp. Well, folks, you've seen the ins and outs of this Fox Ellie headlamp and uh, hopefully I've just kind of pointed in the right direction. I gotta tell you, this thing is awesome because I've been looking for a good headlamp and the, the most recent one I've been using, uh, you know, is either the Phoenix flashlight, which is great and particularly for compactness, it's good. But, you know, it's nice to have a designated um, you know, head lamp and particularly one that I don't have to load up with batteries. Not only makes this thing lighter, but I don't have to chew up my batteries. You know, I can put those into other flashlights and other gear that I may have. So I'm really digging this Foxelli headlamp and at the price point and just everything, I'm, I'm loving it. And it's kind of mind boggling how they're able to produce the level of lumens, the quality and the USB rechargeable capability at this price point is kind of mind boggling guys and very good quality from everything I've seen. You know, we've talked about a couple of the little nitpicky things I have here, but those are really small in comparison to everything that you're getting for under 35 bucks. Last I checked, you know, prices always vary. So with all that being said, hopefully this review has helped you out with your purchasing decisions. As always, remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.